can happen is there can be a lot of job shift in a very small span of time, which hasn't been seen ever in the history. So the economy also has to be equipped for the same. How this transition can happen? So uh, you know there have been a lot of AI bills is going on to impose more, impose more tax on the AI kind of use cases. It's primarily because to slow down this thing so that people can adapt. But uh, there is no going back from AI because that is what history have told us. When a new technology comes in, uh, it is a, it is a necessary evolution. It's what is more important is how we are going to handle with ethical frameworks. And every company should have, even if they are not an AI company, if they are adopting an AI technology, there should be a basic framework and should pass through that so that it is used for good. So this is, these are the generic thoughts that uh, we have, at least for any use cases that we take, we try to do this validation. Uh, and while fine tuning or create the model also, we keep, keep that in the center. <laughs> I, I really hope, wish, and pray that uh, everyone who's using AI remembers this because the more you stress on ethics and the more you're doing it every time, it's there all over your website as well. When it comes to ReFI, you set out with a mission. Today, when you're looking back, has your mission actually been accomplished? Are you still on the path of greater accomplishments? Where are you on that journey as per plan? We are just starting. I think the first decade was more on, it was a story of perseverance because what AI could do, we haven't done much, I would say, in the first uh, first decade because it is the time of prep because the world was not ready to yeah. use AI in its full potential and throttle. But now the world is ready. They know what AI is capable of. Uh, so I think now it's the this decade is where we we believe that the FI has a lot more role to play, especially on the AI side, because uh, not to give up and be stick into that journey was was the key part in the first decade for us, because it took us almost ten years. Even though we had the technology, it has evolved. We were doing business, but now the world is ready to. Uh, because even when we started the company, the story that we used to say is that. Uh, if I am thinking of something, the technology should be able to bring it. That is the magic of technology. Because you, know, if if you remember, I I quoted this because the word reafi is anagram of fairy. And why fairies? Fairy is one uh, thing that comes and do magic for you, right? Mm -hmm. So we believe the technology can create magic, but the true potential of magic is unlocked now. So. We are expecting to create more magic. So that is the dream that we had. Now we can create that dream. So in this decade, so okay. that's how we see it. <laughs> okay, this is actually very beautiful. But another thing that I'm very curious about is in this uh, dream of Riafi, what are some of those milestones that you are really proud of and you know you're going the right direction? Because every one of us who sets out on a journey has certain milestones we set to be reached to know we are on the right path. So right. what are some of those milestone moments for you as a company? Uh, I love the fact that it's very uh, uh, inverted, reify. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah. what are some of those milestones that you would be really looking back with pride? Yes, so since we started the company, the first major aha moment for us was being the first company from India to be showcased on Google I.O. So it is one of the largest tech conference hosted by Google. So it was in San Francisco. Two of our founders got invited and it was the proudest moment for us because Google I.O. was one event that we used to watch in college at night to see what is the new tech thing is being launched. So we created a product and that is being showcased on that stage within two years after the college was a dream come true moment for us. And since then, for every five years, Google have showcased one or other other products. Again, we continue to uh, do that success consistently. Otherwise, it is like a one-off thing, like being there for one time. And in 2019, the Google team flew in and created a story of BFI. And so that was the B2B journey. And one thing that I am very proud of is, so we have gone through that uh, valley of death, I would say, where uh, our revenue started drooping. From there, we started restarted our journey in 2018. So again, when I look back, uh, when you when you 
talk to experienced founders for being in, being an entrepreneur they say that the the on, the entrepreneurial graph is just like a sine wave mm -hmm. it is not like always going like a flat curve there will be ups and downs but you make sure that this sine wave is going up yeah right so so this is something exactly how the journey was the other key milestone was for us was last year uh, we were invited to talk about responsible ai in the google uh, cloud conference in again in the us we were the only founders from india to be invited for that so i think that is a testimony for the work that i have been doing for the last 10 years it was a proud moment for us so our ceo mr john matthew was there to talk about the same and when we look back the 75 million users that we have in the b2c side who are using still using our product and uh, uh, the one story which I could recall is, I think it happened in 2013, that when we launched in Portuguese language, there is a Brazilian girl who sent a review saying that she baked a birthday cake for her mom and she loved it. Thank you, cookbook. So we know that we could not touch people's lives uh, for so far in the other part of the continent. So these are the moments that I can think of. And in terms of milestones, uh, right now, we are the only generative AI partner of Google Cloud in India. So uh, uh, it was a, it was a quite a big achievement for us. And uh, going forward, we are seeing to grow our business. So right now, when I think of, uh, so people used to say that if your company was not in Kochi, if it was in Valley, mm -hmm. the kind of money that you have made is huge. So I we want that also to be rectified in the next decade. Hopefully, in terms of uh, economically or financially also, we want to see a big success. Uh, so this is something that I wish for. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into that. Yeah. And